at focus to a specific area with light. In order to bring attention to a certain part of your image, we're going to do the following. First, go to the bottom of the Layers panel and add an adjustment layer by pressing on this icon. You already know this by now, but there's a twist. Now we're going to select Curves. From the new panel that appears, from the center, raise the line up significantly. This will brighten up the image dramatically. Now press Ctrl I and this will invert the mask. What does this mean? Before, everything was affected by the adjustment layer. Now, with the inversion, nothing is. But it's not useless, far from it. Select the Brush tool and make sure you have the hardness set at 0% and the opacity under 50%. Having white as the foreground colour, start painting on the area you want to brighten up. In our case, it's the couple. Sometimes, depending on your background and on your brush hardness, you may end up having a lousy effect. Don't worry, after you're all set painting, double-click on your adjustment layer's thumbnail and press on this small icon here. Make sure you have your mask selected by clicking it, otherwise this whole panel will be unlit. Now drag the feather slider up. How much really depends on the image size, the opacity and the hardness of the brush you've painted with. Here in my case it doesn't make a significant difference, but I wanted to show you this step as a precautionary measure if nothing else. The second step is to add another curves adjustment layer, but this time make it darker. What's really nice is that you don't have to worry about getting it right the first time. These layers can always be adjusted by double clicking on their thumbnail, so if something's too powerful you can easily tone it down a bit. Here I'm going to exaggerate the effect so those that don't have the option of watching in high definition can still see what's going on. Great, now we have a second curves layer. Press Ctrl I to invert it again. Paint with white around the edges of the couple to make a really nice effect. Make sure you adjust your brush size to get the best result. I always use my square brackets on my keyboard. I'll go just about everywhere around them, even a little bit on the sun. If you go too far, press X and paint with black to remove some of the effect. After that set, you can always adjust both the lightness of the girl or the darkness of the edges by simply double clicking and moving the line around. But you can also lower the opacity of your layers. I like to use my 1 through 0 keys on my keyboard. 1 stands for 10%, 2 for 20% and so on, 0 goes back to 100% opacity. Great, now let's see the before and after. Quite a big difference and in only a few steps. Remember to dial it down, you don't need too much to get a nice effect. I can't stress that enough. If it's too obvious it's been photoshopped, it really takes a lot away from it. You want to slightly enhance, not completely redo the image. Go have some fun with this technique.